guys, today I'm doing a dorm room tour. I live in a pretty small space, about 17 by 21 feet or 345 square feet. I also do live with a roommate and I didn't know her prior to moving in but she has been fantastic. This video I mainly just want to show how it's possible to live in such a small space even with another person and the guide dog. Enjoy! So here is my harness. I just have it hung on a hook um, that was already in my university dorm room. I have it next to another set where my roommate hangs a couple of her things. Um, and it's two hooks, one about one inch directly above the other. I hang the harness from the chest strap on the top hook and the leash on the bottom hook. Um, just really ease of access, really close to the door. And back when we used our gentle leader, I would keep that on the leash um, dangling just because it was easier to always leave it on the leash. I wanna talk about what I have in my bathroom for my dog. I have this Natural Promise Fresh Dental. It's basically just a water supplement. I pour in a few drops of this in her morning water every day. And as, as it says, it freshens her breath and it keeps her teeth cleaned. It's worked phenomenally well. Uh, when I first got my dog during training, she had the worst dog breath, but ever since I've been using this daily, I haven't noticed it at all. I also have here a cup that I got from training from the Guide Dog Foundation, and it's actually pretty cool. So it has a spigot on one end to pour from, and it has a small handle on the other side. Within the cup, there are four lines. There's a line for a cup, a three quarters of a cup, half a cup, and a quarter cup. So whatever amount of water or kibble I want to give her, I just feel the line and then I pour that. It's been super convenient and I really like it. Next, I want to move out of the bathroom. So I live in a pretty small dorm room. It's about 345 square feet and I have a roommate. So I've had to be a little bit creative about how I arrange my things. So I'm going to show kind of how we've managed to pack everything that we need to. First, is my dog's dog bowl. This I got from the Guide Dog Foundation during training. It's just a regular metal bowl. And this is all we use. I don't have a water and a food bowl because I never do food and water at the same time. I can just do one after the other. I also have it on this mat, which is just really cute. And I got that from Bed Bath and Beyond. Next, I have a large monitor, which just makes it easier for me to see things and especially work on programs with small buttons and things like that because I don't always prefer to use a narrator type of software. Um, it's just a more accessible way for me to function. I also have here a Visio book, which is a portable CCTV. If you're interested in learning more about this, I have a full in-depth review on my blog, which I will link below, but this is just what it resembles in video. Now back to my dog, I have her dog food here. It's a 30 pound bag of Nature Select, which is what worked for her from the Guide Dog Foundation. So I've just managed to squeeze it in between the desk and the ladder for my bed. Underneath here in my desk, I have a small cabinet and that's where I keep her dog boots in this pink bag. Now here we go to my dog's bed. Here is a chest of drawers and then a foldable chair and then my dog's bed. I have on my drawers a small photo album of dog pictures that my puppy raiser gave to me, which is pretty cool. I got my dog's bed from Home Goods and she really likes it. One thing I do suggest if you are getting a guide dog and you don't know what kind of bed to get them, uh, just go to training and see what they like because different dogs like maybe a bed without any walls like this I know that my dog really likes having something to lay her head on so that's why I got her this kind of bed Here also attached to the ladder of my bed which this side of the bed is against the wall But there's just a ladder on both sides. I have her tie down which again I got this from the guide dog foundation it's made out of a beige wire-ish material, kind of plasticky, so that dogs can't chew through this, although my dog has never tried. And attached to it, I have a martingale, just because on tie-down, especially when you're asleep and your dog is asleep, martingales are a little bit safer because they can't choke on them. I don't, I don't have my dog sleep on tie-down anymore. She did for about two or three months, but I'm very confident in her now, so I don't feel the need to, but I always keep it there just in case. And here is 
a drool towel, which I also got from GDF, which I do keep it out like this because my dog really likes to lick, um, and so it can be pretty convenient to have something like that ready. Now I want to talk about my cubbies. I have eight total cubbies. It's just a shelf of two by four, and it is a really great way to keep everything compactly well organized. So at the bottom here, which is, I usually leave this open, is her toy bin, and she has a lot of different toys, some Nyla bones, some Kongs, a football thing. So I have quite a few, and even though we live in a small space, she likes to run back and forth, and I do play ball with her as much as I can. So we manage, and she does fine. I also leave it open because I know that she likes to go and get her toys on her own sometimes. It's pretty inconvenient to put it away every time, but having a spot like this just helps me keep them all organized because in such a small dorm room, I can't have her toys on the floor or else I'm constantly tripping on them. This is what I like to call the medical bin where I keep everything kind of medically related to my dog. So I have her toothbrush kit and it came with a toothbrush and some toothpaste and uh, as well as a finger brush, which is much easier to use with the dog. I have some extra waste bags, some flea and tick prevention medication. I also have her heartworm prevention medication and both her heartworm prevention and her flea and tick prevention, I got for free during training and uh, GDF provides at a low cost afterwards. I also have some pill pouches, which are like treats and when you have to feed your dog, hello, a pill, you just put it inside one of these and that way the dog doesn't even know that they took medicine. I also have some canned pumpkin, not pumpkin filling or pumpkin pie filling. And this is good if my dog has any stomach upsets, um, you can feed them this and it has a lot of fiber and it helps soothe their intestines. I have three cans of that. And finally, I have some hydrogen peroxide, a big bottle this time. And you may remember from my daily gear video, but this is just good for inducing vomiting if the dog eats something toxic. And again, call your vet before providing anything like this to your dog because there are some items that it is safer for your dog to keep down than to throw up. Next, I have her grooming bin. So as you can imagine, it's just everything grooming. I have a green bandana. I have a pirate hat, which was part of her Halloween costume. I also have a hundred pack of grooming wipes. Grooming wipes are just a really easy way of cleaning your dog. It's kind of less than a bath, but it's very easy to do. I have her usual regular brush, and this I got from GDF. On one side it has bristles, a bit like you would see on a broom, and on the other side it's like a normal human hairbrush. And the, it's actually made out of wood, so it's pretty nice. I also have a lint roller because my dog loses a lot of fur. I have some dry shampoo. So basically, I live in a dorm and all we have is a shower. And although it's a private bathroom shower, I still can't really bathe my dog. So I have this oatmeal-based um, dry shampoo. We do this just every few weeks or so. She doesn't really smell bad, so luckily that's not much of an issue. And so far, I haven't had to give her a real bath in the five or so months since I've been in training. So this works pretty well. I also have some dog perfume, and this is baby powder scented, which also, her dry shampoo is also baby powder scented. And it's the same thing as the grooming wipes. It's just easier than giving her a whole bath if she needs some spritzing up. And finally is her miscellaneous cubby and it's just everything else that I need for her. So here is a gentle leader box that I got during training and I just use a box to organize some of my smaller objects. So in here I have her clicker, which I also got during training and it actually has the Guide Dog Foundation logo on it. And a clicker is a great way to teach a dog new tricks. And I also have her sleigh bells in here. They make that sound. They sound like a jingle bell a little bit and you just put these on your dog's collar when they're running around somewhere and that way you they can play but you still know where they are auditorily. I also have a lot of plastic bags. I have a couple gallon size really big bags and these are mainly if I need to transport a large amount of kibble back home with me or if I'm traveling somewhere. And inside another one 
I just have an enormous amount of regular Ziploc bags and I use them for a lot of things, um, mostly dog related too. And finally, I just have some meat type treats here. I got these from my puppy raiser when my dog first left training and we first graduated. So I keep them and I give them to my dog on occasion if she does something really special um, or even just for fun because I know she likes these. So this was my door tour guide dog slash blind college student style. Again, we live in a really small space, but we live in a really small space, but hopefully you kind of get the idea of how we've managed to pack everything in. I think I have everything that I could possibly need for my dog, but I really try to keep everything minimal just so that it's less stressful for me to find places to put everything. And so far we've done really well. GDF paired me with a dog that does really, really well in such a small place and she doesn't need a ton of running around exercise. And a lot of guide dogs don't. As long as you walk with them enough every day, they get all the physical and mental exercise that they need. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Links to everything I mentioned are in the description down below, along with a table of contents so that you can skip around. I also have a blog at easiervision.wordpress.com. You can follow me on Instagram at easiervision or email me at easiervision at gmail.com. I hope this video has been helpful and I will see you guys next time.